entertainer, comedian, producer with an Emmy under his belt. Mr. Mike Robles in Houston tonight, and we've got him on Charles Snyder's show. Emmy, under my belt. It's under here somewhere, <laughs> Mr. Snyder. Let me ask you, my friend. Yeah. When did you discover that uh, being funny, comedy was for you? How, uh, how old were you? I was probably like 29 when I uh, <laughs> realized that... So not a class clown? I wasn't a class clown. I was a shy boy. So two things happened. I lost a wife and I lost a job. And that was probably the most funniest things that ever happened to me. Because I found myself without money and without a woman. So I went on stage and started telling my story. And that gave birth to the comedy of life? I don't know about life, but the, the comedy of... Yeah, I guess I was reborn. It was the best thing that happened because I got into comedy. I didn't have to do nine to five and I didn't have to deal with that woman any longer. Yeah. So that was a good thing, too. Talking to a friend of yours earlier tonight, uh, Rene Garcia, who mentioned. Yeah, Rene Garcia, the, my cabana boy. I have my little cabana boy here. <laughs> he mentioned that the Emmy is in a glass case uh, with a spotlight shined on it. Uh, how does that feel to have won? I mean, how that's equivalent to Super Bowl ring? Mm. Oscar. Well, the Emmy is a great thing because that's by your peers, you know, and, and when I got it, I couldn't believe it. So at first, I didn't want to have it sent to me because I didn't show up because I'm jinxed because I was nominated for two Cable Ace Awards thinking I was going to win because I had two categories out of the four. So I figured I have a 50 cent chance of winning. It didn't happen. So I said, I'll never do that again. And sure enough, the, the, the Emmy came and I said, don't even send it. But they send it. And no, I don't have it glass and closed. I have it on like... Uh, one of those rope of soap things okay. <laughs> hanging on my shower head. And I look at her every morning and I go, who's your daddy? And she says, you are. And uh, that's where I have my head. I was uh, doing my homework on you. Somebody compared you to Desi Arnaz. Did you uh, know that? Lucy, I'm home, <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> that guy? I, I guess it's the Latino look. <laughs> where, uh, where's travels taking you next? I go everywhere. That's the beautiful thing. I, I travel everywhere. I go to, I'm going to LA next. And that's the beauty of what I do, the comedy. You, you bring laughter everywhere. And you brought it here to the char bar tonight? Char bar, <laughs> which they, look, they have self-service shoe shines. In. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's become self-service. You remember the days you used to go buy gas and they actually someone went out? You imagine it was like an ATM or a computer on stage doing what I do? Welcome to the show. Press oh, two yeah. for ethnic <laughs> jokes, three for Michael Jackson jokes. <laughs> Just, I mean, you wouldn't like it. You want the real thing. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Speaking of which, I appreciate them stereotype jokes. Great way. You like those uh, jokes, eh, my friend? It melts, dissolves. You like. Kind of... What do you find in the Mexican's nose? It's fingerprints. You like those? <laughs> They're <laughs> yes. good for society, aren't they? <laughs> it all depends who you're talking about. You know, it depends. You don't want to get too crazy because then, you know, they'll say that wasn't funny. But no, I think, it, it, listen, when it comes to topics, everybody's game. It's all, you know, it's all in fun. It's all in humor. I really don't do ethnic jokes, per se, you know, because, you know, they've been told in that sense. I'll, I'll leave it to other guys. But, yeah, it's, it's funny, though. I like to more or less see how, how we're different. I think that's funny, the difference. I mean, look at me in Tulsa. I mean, obviously, this man is, he doesn't come any whiter. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I, I couldn't get, like, an apartment in his building. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They'd say, uh, excuse me, uh, you have to go around the back. That's where we accept deliveries. You know, right? Mike Rebels. You got a great laugh, by the way. Been a pleasure. Thank hey, you, oh my, my Thank you very much. We appreciate your time. You're a legend in this town. I want you to know. I, I've been in H-Town long enough to know when people talk about you, I know what they're talking about. We this, appreciate it, This sir. is the coolest white guy in Houston, Texas. <laughs> He's just too cool, this guy. Very kind. Mike Robles in town from the local comedy gym. Charles Snyder Show will be back.